Hi guys, um, it's me again. This is my second YouTube video that I'm making. Um, the first one was regarding um, health and the benefits of lowering your sugar intake um, with the choice of foods that you consume or you drink. Uh, this video I am doing not because I want you to subscribe to my channel or because I want people to see me and I want to get noticed. Um, I'm not doing this video for people to just mock me and if you have that spirit in you then that's your choice but I'm doing this as a testimony for myself because the Word of God says that you will overcome the enemy by the power of your testimony, by the, the blood of the Lamb, which is Jesus, his, his precious blood shed for us on the cross, and the word of our testimony. So I am a Catholic, if many of you guys don't know already. And um, this video is basically sharing about my faith as a Catholic and how um, God has revealed himself to me twice. Um, through dreams, um, uh, basically for the first dream I had, um, well, even before that, I have, I, ha I just wanted to share a little personal information. I have been under spiritual attack for more than six years, almost seven years now, and I have been physically attacked by the enemy, spiritually attacked very deeply for many years, and financially attacked. So I'm very uh, under a lot of warfare right now, spiritual warfare. But today I woke up after a dream, my second dream that God has revealed to me. And I choose not to be a slave of the enemy. I choose not to believe his lies. And I am a new person in the blood of the name of Jesus Christ. I am a new person. And I believe it because Jesus has power over the enemy because he is creator of creators. He created every living thing, everything on the earth, everything under the earth. Jesus has the power. He created everything. So, anyway, the first dream I had, I was unable to sleep. I was going to sleep, waking up, going to sleep, waking up. And then I was just so exhausted, I just fell asleep. And I usually read my Bible when I wake up from a, from a horrible dream. Anyway, I woke up and uh, in the dream, I remember it, Jesus, he was kind of praying and kneeling and he was kind of sad looking and he was saying, this is happening to you because you fell asleep. And I didn't really understand what it's what he was trying to tell me, like I fell asleep. Yeah, I, I know I need to sleep, you know, you know, when you have peace and you, you need rest to have peace of mind. And I have been under mental attack, spiritual attack, physical attack. My health has been in jeopardy. So I didn't. I kind of just shunned it off. I didn't really understand what he was trying to tell me in this first dream. And then, in this, and then today, this morning, um, I actually was very sick yesterday. I had a fever, a low-grade fever, and I had to go to the emergency room. And it was just horrible. There were so many people sick and. I felt like something Jesus was telling me through his Holy Spirit in my mind, pray, pray the blood of Jesus, pray Jesus over your body because this fever can go away by the blood of Jesus. So I was just praying, praying Jesus, Jesus. And I went in nauseous. My stomach I had abdominal pain. I had stomach pain. Praise God. After I finished praying, praying in the emergency room, my abdominal pain, my nausea went away. That's the power of prayer. So I feel like God was slowly speaking to me that I need to be praying more, more, unseasonally, always, always praying. When you wake up, you're praying. When you're sleeping, you're praying. When you're exercising, you're running, you're praying. You're praying all the time because we are in a battle. We are in a battle, not against the flesh, the Bible says. We are in a, in a battle against the invisible. And there is so much darkness in the invisible we can't even see because we just see the visible. What's What's what we just see what's in front of us, trees, plants, people, you know, animals, buildings. We don't see the invisible. Anyway, so um, this morning I woke up and I 
had a dream with my family members and um I know I have to, uh, God is telling me to forgive and I and I with all my might and my all my heart and all my strength and being I I pray and I forgive my family. But I have one relative that I dearly love. And she was in my dream and we we're trying to go somewhere trying to get ready to go to a a sermon of some sort. And in my dream, we we're all trying to get ready myself and my family member and her 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 kids we're all trying to get ready, and I saw myself as a younger being when probably when I was like in my twenties anyway um and i was I didn't understand my dream until we're all trying to get somewhere, and we didn't really get where we needed to go and in the end my my aunt just looks at me and she's like, "But did you pray and she, she looked at me in my spirit, in my dream, and she said, did you pray? And I woke up this morning and I said, I don't know if I prayed the right way. I don't know if I, if I prayed as I should. And maybe that's why I am still being attacked spiritually and physically and emotionally and financially. And so therefore, I thank God for this dream. I don't put it really importance on dreams because dreams come and go, but I feel like God does speak to us sometimes in revelation. He gives us revelations and we need to listen and understand them. So this awoke in my spirit today to, 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 to take that, that 